Oh, how embarrassing. You just caught me waking up. <laughs> Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to be vlogging my day. And I'm gonna be doing a spend the day with me type of thing. Basically I made myself a schedule. Today's a bit of like, a bit of an admin day. It's not really like super, super musical, super, super creative like that. I've got quite a few things that I need to do. Oh, I've just been scratching my bite. Oh no. And you can spend the day with me and yeah, we can hopefully have a little bit of fun. On admin days, I sometimes just sit there and I'm like, I've got so much to do. I sit down on my laptop and I'm like, what do I do? So I've written myself a schedule, which I'll put here. And you can have a little look at what I've got planned for the day. Um, and we'll see how much I'll stick to it. I've already had to push it back half an hour, an hour, because my alarm didn't go off. And normally I'd be able to stick to things better, but like that, if my alarm went off late, but I obviously had to put makeup on to be on camera. I normally wouldn't when I'm doing admin. But actually it kind of makes it a bit more realistic because I normally, well I'd like to get up at eight, but the reality is, is I will get up at nine and then I will probably start the day at 10. That's probably the reality because musicians were slightly more night owls and I'd love to be an early morning person, but early mornings don't like me. So yeah, so right, um, the time is now did say the time on here? The time is now, oh, 9.36, so we're already six minutes behind on the breakfast front, but that is that, I'm gonna have breakfast, and then next at 10 is admin. So yeah, it's probably gonna look a bit regimented and a bit like, oh, but I find that if I don't give myself a guide, it, it really, really helps me. I don't always do this every single admin day, but when I do do it, I get way more done because I'm a little bit more disciplined with what I'm doing and I'm a little bit more, rather than going, I've got to complete all of this today. If I break it down, it becomes a little bit more achievable. So um, yeah, the, the day in the life of a self-employed musician. Let's get breakfast on the go. I'm starving. I'm always very, very, very hungry. Ooh. you get those shots guys <laughs> this is how you do it like and subscribe yeah peace <laughs> hi so we are in the car we are slightly behind schedule um oh, it's really warm there we just open up some windows open up some windows time is 11 minutes past 12 we are not on schedule it's totally fine it's totally fine you wouldn't be but um so what i'm gonna do is i need to get fuel so i'm on reserve and i need to go to older shot to pick up my microphone so for some reason i did two gigs in the space of a week and i left both of my microphones there at both gigs. I don't know what on earth is going on with my brain, but so I'm gonna go to Older Shop to pick up the silver one that I left at Samfest, and then I'm gonna have to go to Pews when I'm in town to pick up the one that I left 
at Pews. But I've got some bits down here um, that I'm sending off that I sold on eBay. Um, and then I'm sending something back to Boohoo. Still got feathers, can you see them? I don't know if you can see them. From the video shoot, we did the video shoot on Tuesday. Got all this ready to go. So yeah, let's go into town and crack on, okay. Hi guys, so I've got my microphone. So it's now 25 past one, so we are a little bit behind the schedule, but that's fine. Picked my microphone up, my darling mic. We've got her back, here she is. So yeah, and last time I was in this car park, okay, okay, I had an absolute mare. I parked where that, can you see where that um, Fiat is? And actually that Fiat has had a, had a bad time as well. So I parked in that parking spot on Monday and I was having a bit of a stress before the video shoot. And then I go to reverse at that spot, get a nice, you know, wide angle and just drive out. Not realizing there's a big pole here. That, that, that one actually, that pole. I did not realize that that pole was there. And I will show you what it did to my jazz. Let me get out the car. <laughs> My poor car door and it's probably still got my jazz on there probably my jazz oh yeah poor thing it's three um i'm just back from town i'm starving like starving it's three o'clock and haven't eaten i normally eat a lot in a day so i go in i'm gonna eat i'll show you what i got in town when i get in and when i've eaten because i can't function until i've actually eaten something but yeah okay oh for the babies hello babies hi having a nice day good good maybe i can stroke the kitties oh no what about this one? Can I stroke him? <gasps> yes, he is lovely. <gasps> oh, that was nice. Right, I've just prepared this. It took me longer than I wanted to. Oh, looks nice and green. I've got like these little um, crackery things, which are these. They're very nice, crisp breads. Lovely, lovely. And then I like these with cheese and tomato, um, but you put pepper on the tomato, which is lovely. I thought I was gonna have three of these. And there's a rogue avocado, half of that. So I had that on one. I've already got the mayo on it, but I normally wouldn't put the mayo on it. A little bit extra left over there. Some cucumber and then some salad. So yeah. Yum. Chester, 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 Chester. Oh, I've got lunch in my teeth. Hi team, just had lunch. Very nice. A little bit more human now, which we like. i to make sure I keep drinking water today. Hot one today. Hot day. What I'll do is I will show you... Um, what I bought in town. So I had to send back loads of stuff from Primark that I got um, for the video shoot. So I got an exchange, obviously, some fun guy, I think. Super cool. I've got this um, laundry basket. It's a decent size. I've actually gained a bit of time today because I don't need to set up the tent anymore because me and Billy were, are uh, going camping on Saturday for one of his best friends surprise birthday party thing and i was gonna have to set up the tent that i've we've got to see if it works but he's got one sorted now so i don't need to do that so that's like an hour i was putting aside for that which i haven't got to do but i did need to go and get some wet wipes because i don't have anything to take my makeup off with if i haven't got access to like a lot of water i guess i could have i could have probably have taken my face halo i don't like buying wet wipes now because so hashtag eco. But these ones, um, Hazel had when I was in Manchester and they are biodegradable. So um, shout out to Simple for doing biodegradable ones. I'll be using those, you know, for my face and my pits and stuff. Obviously I had to get some more of these from a uh, tired under eyes. Got some face cream, cause I'm literally scraping the barrel now. Got my microphone back from Pews. Some mascara, cause there's literally nothing in there anymore. This one's a tubing one as well, which I really like, cause you just basically have to put water with it and it just comes off. It doesn't smudge or anything. It just comes off nicely in little tubes. And then batteries for my busking amp. Let's have a look at what's on the list next. It's four o'clock now, 4.03. So I've got tent. 2.30, didn't quite get there. Take pictures for Femlox. So I'm gonna take the pictures for Femlox now. So yeah, so I just got to post one picture 
of the trousers, the jeans that I got. The 4pm stuff, like stuff on eBay and tidying my room, that's only if I like, had time. So I'll do the Femlux stuff and then um, I think we're pretty, pretty down for the day. But I get to this point of the day and I'm like, I can't be bothered with the schedule anymore. Just like, as long as I'm doing stuff and like, you know, stuff's been done. It's working all right. Town was nice, nice and hot. No buskers though. I thought there'd be some buskers, but there weren't any buskers. I'll be out tomorrow if I can get a spot. I never like say when I'm going busking, only because in Guildford you don't need a license, so anyone can busk, and it basically means that it's first come first served. So I wouldn't want to be like I'm going busking today, and then get there and not be able to get a spot, and then I wouldn't want people to have come down to see me, and then you know they they are disappointed. I normally put up the post after my first set because then I know that everything's working. I saw um, Sabrina in town when I went past Bobby Brown on the way back to the car park, which was nice. I looked out with her. I'm gonna go and sort out the Femme Lux stuff. I'll show you how I take my pictures for Instagram on my own. I actually watched a video on how someone else did it and that's how I got inspiration. So I'm gonna have it, this as the backdrop. I'm going to sit there, wearing the jeans. Lovely, lovely. I'm just gonna show you how I set it all up. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so what I basically do, how I do this, is I um, use this little selfie thing that I've got here, stick it to my tripod, and I use this, which is, it actually came with a selfie stick I got, and I use this to, to click, so when I click that button, it takes a picture, that button there. So all the pictures, I'm just like hiding it, um, so that I don't see it, but yeah, I'm just kind of going through them really, so this is what they look like. I'm just going through, so yeah. So that is how I do my photo shoots on my own. Right, I realised I didn't show you what I got in the post, so I'll just go and grab that now and then I can show you. Obviously got a bruise, no idea where that's from. Um, I've set up the tripod now properly, so it's like proper. So this is basically it's to soak off your gel nails to soak off gel you have to buff the nail soak little cotton pads in acetone and then you have to either put foils around your fingers or, or we've got these like little clip things that you can put on i find it takes about half an hour to soak it off and then you still got to scrub it off so this came up and i saw and apparently i saw a video they just put it on and within like a couple of minutes it dissolves it it pulls off. You haven't got to like scrape it for ages or anything. So um, I'd be interested to try that. I don't want to get any on my nails now. Ugh. Like goopy. Cool. Well, I'll use that <laughs> when the time comes. Mm -hmm. I've done started doing these poly gel nails, so they look like this, and I can only have them when obviously I'm not playing guitar. I'd like to try, but I don't think I can play guitar with them this long. But they do look lovely. There's a few videos on on YouTube that I will watch about how to get the perfect underside, but still, the underside of these is really thick. I don't know if you can see how thick it is, but if you can see there. So when I bought in this one from Amazon, is a electric nail file. I've got another one like but it's really old and the heads on it aren't that small so they can't get under the nail. So what I was hoping for is which what's come, I ordered it yesterday, Amazon Prime, thank you all very much, I'm not sponsored. I wanted one that's got like a really 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 small pointed nib so that it can get under the nails and just file away the thickness. It was £17.99 I think. Oh was this, this was like £10 I think, 15 10 11 can't remember. Electric nail drill. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then you get loads of these little like buffing things, which is good because it takes ages to file down these things. And then those are the little ones you get with it as well. So that's the little head you put on. So I'm hoping this tiny one on the end I can use under the nails just to get really under there. Okay, so I'm just gonna probably go and like do that now and then get ready for the gym. It's going to the gym tonight. Gym is the class is at six o'clock. It's called Total Body Blast. 
and it is a total body blast. It's an all round workout. There's weights, there's cardio, there's everything. The sweetest little angel. So team, I've taken my um, face makeup off and gym kit on. I thought I'd go yellow to match the older nails, Nike, everything. Am I okay? Hun. I'm back from the gym. Look, look who's there. It's my face halo body. Yeah, so I'm going to have a shower and then not sure what the sitch is with eating, whether mum is planning anything or not. So um, I will hold fast on the eating on the uh, old schedule. Then I will post the thumbnail like picture, play a little bit of guitar and then get ready for Love Island, really. So I've uh, discovered I can't play guitar with my nails, which is a shame, really. On the loose. Uh... <sighs> the nails. They've got to go. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Hello. Oh, you are lovely. Yes. Oh, he's yawning. Blimey, do you want more scratchings? Yes. Oh, lovely boy, yes. Lovely. Hi guys, I'm in my comfies, I've been eating, Love Island's on. Don't normally cook um, in this household. Mum is the chef of the household. Her cooking is insane, like she makes everything just taste mwah. But I cook today just because, probably just it's like because I'm filming, but it's not. It happened to be convenient. Um, Mum was out, I got back from the gym, I was hungry, I didn't know what dinner plans were. I was gonna go make myself something to eat, and then I thought, actually, do you know what? I might as well just cook something. I was gonna make mac and cheese, and I thought it'd take too long before Love Island came, so I made chili con carne, but chili con corny, we call it. Because um, we have corn instead of beef because mum's allergic to beef, I can't stomach beef, makes me throw up. Uh, Love Island's on, the gym was good, gym was tough. I'm just relaxing in like the living room part of the lodge, watching Love Island, which I do over here because I'm the only one in the household who watches it. So um, I come over here, have my little me time, and chill on the bed, and watch Love Island. It's really lovely, actually. It's a nice little bit of um, downtime at the end of the day. I posted my picture on Instagram. I think I've done pretty well on my list today, to be honest with you. I didn't do the one sheet, which is like a promo thing that you um, send off to industry folk, radio, or anything like that. Basically just talking about you, about your release, anything that's coming up and I didn't buy eye cream from under the eyes and I didn't need to do the tent because Billy's got a tent for the weekend. So actually, oh, I didn't tidy my room or put stuff up on eBay, but I might do those a bit later. Yeah, I will tidy my room before I go to bed. So sorry, Love Island's back on. Love Island. Coming off at night, it really does pay a lot, a lot more than what I thought it would. Just finished Love Island. What just happened? Okay, so anyone who's watching on a Thursday night, did Kurt just break up with Amy? I am going to round the video up here because it is now 10 past 10 and um, I'm going to go back over to the house, put all of my 
busking stuff on charge, so my portable charger, my card reader, I tried the electric nail file, it was really good, actually did exactly what I wanted underneath, so that was nice. Thank you guys for spending the day with me, I hope you've enjoyed it, I've actually done like no music really, so the life of a self-employed musician isn't always all singing, all dancing every day. I did think like I could have done a day like when I was busking, but to be honest with you, when I'm busking or when I'm recording or filming, literally busking days, I go to town, I busk, and that's it. And I come home and like tomorrow I'll go to the gym and that's it. There's not much in the day because the whole day is taken up by pretty much by busking. Like I busk if I can, I will busk 11 till 3. By the time I get home, I will just like chill out and recharge. And then I go to the gym at like five. Recording and like filming days. I'm just in that little room most of the day. Like I feel like today was a good day because I was doing a lot. I don't always go out and do this much. I don't always get this much done in a day. I feel like I did really well today. I got a lot done. What a good day! I feel so productive. I looked at it all and I was like, oh my god, if I do all of this today, I'll feel so good. And like I say, I don't always do a, like a schedule for myself like that. But I just find that when I've got a lot I want to achieve in a day, it really helps. And that's just a little like tip if you are self-employed or if you do a lot on your days off or you want to be more productive on your days off. You won't stick to it, like specifically like on the times, but uh, it just gives you a brief timing so that you can kind of stick to it as if it was an actual work day in an office. Every time I've done it, I've been way more productive and I've got way more done and I love getting stuff done. So for me, it's perfect. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these videos, if you like these, you spend the day with me, a day in the life of type videos it was good fun please let me know if you enjoy these and i will vlog more any video requests any ideas or anything like that also let me know in the comments down below you know the drill please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell on so you don't miss out on an upload on wednesday or on sunday yeah give this video a like if you liked it and like to see more videos like in the future and i'll see you in my next one bye